Okay, guys, so today's video is uh, about how to make a brochure. So a friend of mine wanted to make a brochure for her credit repair business. And I am going to um, teach you in this video how to make a brochure in Canva. And it's for absolute beginners. Because uh, there are two ways to make brochure. One is you can use Canva's um, template. And the second is from scratch. But there are a few things to keep in mind when you use Canva's templates. So um, A, you cannot use them as it is because they are someone else's work and not yours. B, you keep in mind that they are copyrighted, okay? So if you use them as a template, the reason I'm going to use template today because it's super easy for you um, if you are absolute beginner. Scra uh, starting from scratch will make it a little difficult, okay? So let's say I'm gonna use the template and I'm gonna find a, so you can see it's 17 times 11 inches, okay? So I am going to find, let's go over this one. Okay. So a few things um, keep in mind that, um, you know, when you make uh, a pamphlet, a poster, a brochure, whatever we're talking about for credit repair company, there are a lot of brochures out there and they are full of so many things. Brochures should not be absolutely full of writing. People do not like to read tons of things in those brochures and they do not consume all the information. That's a marketing tip I am going to, I, I am giving it to you. And it's not a small marketing tip if you think of marketing techniques. Um, so let's start with this. So first thing you do, you pick the pamphlet, whatever you want to do, um, you can pick those pamphlets. There are tons out here, but I like this one and I am going with this one. Um, there, you can do whatever you want it to do. But again, as I said, you cannot do something that you can use it as it is. This one is anyways for some academy, some sort of academy. You can't use it at, as it is, okay? I have actually changed it somewhat right here and I'm gonna show you what I did. So what I did, I just duplicated right here, okay? That way, um, if, this way, I will not be using the exact same. So let's change the color for this one, right? I'm gonna go with blue because blue is my color for my um, new company. Here is someone else logo. So we do not need that, right? Let's get rid of this. And I'm gonna go with my logo. So what you should do, you should upload your logo in PNG files as I have mine right here. So I'm gonna just put it and I can make it bigger, smaller, however I want it, okay? So, and then uh, you will change the heading and font. Here is the way to change the font. You just select it, go to font here. It's Poppin board, Poppin's board. I just like very simple font, just open sans. And here I can change the whatever, let's say I wanted to make it really big, okay? Um, or small, if I wanted to make it small, I could go 42. And then I say, whatever you wanted to say, like I say, your partner in success, okay. So, and then whatever we wanted to do here. Um, these, we don't need, we're not doing math. So just get rid of these. Um, 
I'm gonna change color for this one as well. And you do your brand color. You have watched the video, I have it, how to find your brand colors out of your website. And then the second video is how to set up your brand kit with your font and everything. I don't, I haven't set up font, but yes. So then I'm gonna change pictures here. So let's go to photos. And I will go find the, let's say, credit score, okay? So let's learn for credit score and I am gonna, which photo I used? Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, let's use this one. What I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, so now I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can make it however I want to. Okay, so. That's cool. <clears throat> Here, whatever heading you want and whatever you put, contact us, change it to your color. Mine is green, so I'm going to do it green. Here, whatever color you want to. I would not put away too much stuff where you have the contact us, okay? The reason, because you do want to um, see them, uh, people very clear your stuff, okay? One thing I would do, I go to elements and I will find social media icon, okay? Social media icons, here we go. So I'm gonna go Facebook. The reason it's showing really fast, uh, small because I've done it before. Um, going with Canva, uh, I'm sorry, Instagram. And then I'm gonna go with Twitter. Twitter icon, okay. Or I want something, uh, maybe. Okay, let's do this one because that's their actual icon. So here I have them. And now I can select them all. I can also group them if I want to right here. So then I can move around. So I have it here and here I will have my handle under, uh, which mine will be ZP Financial Solutions LLC, something like that. I haven't created uh, solutions. Um, yeah, so everything will be at ZP Financial Solutions. Um, let's make it this and um, Open sense, make sure your fonts are very visible and people could see them as opposed to just fancy font and people can't read it. People who do not know marketing and just like pretty, pretty, they would not use clear font. Keep that in mind. Being pretty is, is mean nothing. You have a beautiful website, you're not getting any page views, you're not getting anything, any business, that website is useless. So here, okay, add your LinkedIn handle, whatever you wanted to add. If they're all same, just add one and put add next to them. So there you go. Um, so this is your uh, contact info and everything and it's pretty clear and you can see it, everybody can see it. Um, so that's cool, right? So your partner in success and whatever you want here, this is the front cover. You can make it as simple as you want and as fancy as you want. It's totally up to you. It's your call, not mine. I am just showing you that once you use a template for your brochure, how do you use it? You do not use the way it is. That's copyrighted issue. You don't wanna look for, um, you know, that somebody sue you for anything else. So um, this, see, I already made it. Like, I'm still gonna tweak it if I'm using it for my me, but let's go with the second one. This, this is the second page, which I have, um, created 
the second page. So I'm gonna show you the second page right here. So this is the first page I showed you and we already changed it. That was the second page, okay? This is the second page, which I changed it to this one, okay? So I can show you what I did. Duplicate. So let me go to template and actually, So here we go. That's the page. What I did, this one, I kept it the same way. And I went to the, um, I added some card, et cetera. And all these things, I changed the, let's ungroup it, make your um, about section a bit larger or big and uh, change the font, whatever your font is. As I said, mine is open sense. I use that font a lot. Um, the send, send setup, send family, I, I send that font family, I love it. And then uh, just change your color. And here, what I did, I change it to blue in the, in the center. You can have some pictures going on. You can have whatever you want to, right? And here, um, this is not a school, how we help. You can see the process, our process, how we help our customers, whatever you wanted to say, okay? How, let's see, ungroup here. How we change lives, okay? So whatever you wanted to say there, just do your thing. And make it bigger, change the font. Again, I mean, there are really pretty, pretty fonts. You can do whatever. This is my purchase font if I wanted to change something like that. It's kind of cool, but no, I'm not gonna um, have it like this. This is cool, but not professionally. It's not professional um, for some credit repair company, okay? And then uh, you're gonna give them reason. Why do you want it? Uh, the purpose here, I'm not creating a credit repair form for you. I'm just showing you. Um, I'm going to element and then I'm going to do credit. So here, pick some few cards, place them here. I mean, those little things that could show that you are in the industry, right? I'm gonna change this to, um, how about this? Eh. Because that's kind of match what, what brand, brand I have. Um, so, okay. And then you can change whatever you want here make it bigger, change it, change your font. Mine will be play for display for this little one. It won't be this. And then I'll change the color. And the second thing I did, I'm not gonna have quotation here, um, but the second thing I did, I just took a picture. I went to the pictures here. I went to credit score and I just placed this here, little card here. Small things, you know, here I was holding the keys, but since I don't really need it, the simpler, the better. So what I did, I'm gonna copy this, which I found it here. And then since I have the paid Canva, I can use any picture. If I'm using it for myself and not selling things, like I'm not selling this brochure, according to Canva's commercial um, license, I can use it, okay? So then just paste it here or whatever picture you want. I have several underneath of that. The whole purpose I'm showing what my business is because I help people to get their cars, they get the house and all those things, get the family stronger, right? So all these things, whatever pictures you like, mine is more like greenish. So it goes more with my business. So hope it makes sense. See, now you can see one thing that um, this uh, is totally um, changed. We totally changed the look of it. 
it looks different. I can, if I wanted to put a, um, uh, some pictures here, I can do that. Well, let's go to pictures. Let's go to credit with woman. Oh, hang on. Um, is he holding a card, something? Let's see. Mm, yeah, that's cool. She got approved. She's pretty happy showing you probably this one because she, she got approved with her cards and whatever you wanted to show there options are unlimited like limitless you can do whatever you can place as many as pictures you want okay um so it's totally up to you mm, i'm making the video in zoom and with my laptop So however the, the pictures you want, however you want to show them, whatever you do. So this is an easiest way to make the, um, make your own, uh, um, own pamphlet, keep it simple, include your brand colors and don't make it too busy, busy, too busy. Do not look that pretty, okay? Um, I am not saying that what you wanted to do, do whatever you like it. I'm just telling you what I have been learning for last two years on marketing. I have spent a lot of money educating myself and I'm just giving the tips here totally for free, okay? The whole purpose is just to help you. See, it totally looks nice. I love it, it looks beautiful. And then you will go to download and you would like to download it, no transparent background because you don't wanna do that, okay? Um, you just have to, no PNG either. PDF standard, no, PDF print because that would not cut off anything. The, everything will be there, okay? So I'm gonna go here and show you something. So. 17 inches by 11 inches. You can directly print on Canva as well. Hope it helps. Subscribe to my channel, press the bell button. This is absolutely a new channel. Uh, it is born out of the necessity that my friend needed help. And I thought, oh, other people could get help too. So um, it's not that there are not Canva um, pictures out there or Canva videos out there, but everybody have their own unique style. And I consider myself a great teacher because I do teach nicely. Okay. okay, so thank you guys. Let me know what else you wanted to know or learn next. Play around and yes. Okay, here we go. 